In this problem, we have a negative mixed number being subtracted with another negative mixed number. And notice we have two consecutive negatives in the problem. And when you see this, you should turn those negatives into positives. So now what we have is a negative mixed number and a positive mixed number. And when the signs are different, you should find the difference of the number's absolute values. So let's take the larger absolute value and place that on the top and place the smaller absolute value on the bottom and let's subtract those. Now one thing that we should notice before we subtract is that 7 eighths is too large to take away from 1 fourth. So what we're going to do in this case is rename both of these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So 2 and 1 fourth can be renamed as 9 fourths and 1 and 7 eighths can be renamed as 15 eighths. Now we have to find a common denominator and the lowest common denominator of 4 and 8 would be 8. So we're going to rewrite this 4 as an 8. This is already an 8 so we can keep that the same which means we can keep the numerator above the 8 the same. And this 4 increased by a factor of 2 so we increase this numerator by a factor of 2, which would give us 18. Now we can take 18 and 15 and subtract those numerators, which gives us 3, and the denominator stays the same. So we have a value of 3 eighths. But now we must determine whether or not this is going to be positive 3 eighths or negative 3 eighths. Now remember, if the signs are different, you have to find the difference of the absolute values, and we already did that, but the sign we use is going to depend on which value had the larger absolute value. And because 2 and a quarter has a larger absolute value than 1 and 7 eighths, we have to use the sign of 2 and 1 fourth, which is a positive symbol. So we would say that our answer is positive 3 eighths.